right, so I'm going to take a little tour up this hill here, get some pictures of stuff, including the camera dudes with my uh, <laughs> my can with my big ass lens. That's not even extended. And I've got a, a 2x doubler on it too, so. <laughs> I'm not going to, if I do manage to get the camera dude's faces, I'll pixelate it. Um, they don't need to be on uh, on, on uh, YouTube or anywhere without their consent, so like some of their a-holes do. I am filming in a public place, so in theory it wouldn't be illegal or anything, but... Common courtesy says you don't uh, you don't put the faces of guys that probably have a security clearance on the internet. It's kind of a dick move. I got her in four wheel drive a little bit for this hill. I was starting to spin a bit, so I switched it to four wheel drive. There is a way. The way I'm going out is the way you can come in with a two wheel drive vehicle. just drive down that hill I just came up. It's a little bumpy, it's not too bad, but you know, he's moved a bit again. So we're between me and the, that little trail that he's, that you can see there are, are some red signs and that is the actual border point. Um, Surprised they haven't uh, marked it a little better in all these years, but they haven't. This trail continues on, but this is as far as I'm going. I'm not going to push my luck. I think at the probably at the bottom of uh, this little grade ahead of me is where the actual board. Oh no, I can see a sign right there. I'll uh, I'll try and put it mark it in the video, but there's a sign there. Right between me and the camera dude is a sign. So I could, in theory, drive almost up to him. <laughs> in reality, I don't have the guts, but... There's nothing they can do, though, but just keep an eye on me. Make sure I don't go bolting across the border like an idiot. All right, so I'm gonna take some pictures here and, uh, and then I'll come back. Uh, video my progress out. Didn't get any uh, cell service, I wasn't not surprised. There's uh, cell towers in Alamo, but, <coughs> excuse me, Alamo, um, and the hills west of Alamo, but there's a mountain range in between, so there's only a couple of spots that I'm not going to reveal on uh, in Tickaboo Valley here where you can get cell service. Once you get across uh, Coyote Summit and on your way to Rachel, there are towers in Rachel and I believe it's Verizon service. I'll find out because I'm going that way. Let's see how my booster works over there. Alright, so I got some pictures, um, and I am going to make my way out of here. I'm not going to go back down that hill, I'm going to take, take the trail I described earlier. So I can get some pictures of, uh, of the tower that I, I spotted a few years ago. Like I said, the, there's some... Uh, There's some new equipment apparently that's been installed there, so I want to get some video of that. So if you look off to uh, looking off to my right here. 
two hills with a gap in between them. And right in between the gap, you can actually see a tower. Put some. Uh, I'll put some pictures in. Uh, I'll get some close-ups of that with my camera. Put some pictures in uh, in this video of that tower. So I don't know what, uh, I don't know, nobody's really deduced what the tower is for. I'm sure it's pointing, uh, some whatever's on it, some of it's pointing at Bull Mountain, which is a uh, line of sight, and uh, it's probably line of sight to the Area 51 base too, so, but what they're using it for, I don't know. Some kind of link uh, somewhere else, or maybe they've got cameras on it, they watch down Groom Lake Road, I don't know. Maybe once I get some pictures I can analyze that a little bit further.